go ahead. Hey, Chris, I guess, first of all, just kind of walk us through that 40 pitch at bat. What were you kind of looking for? Or just kind of fighting, trying to stay alive there? Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a good fastball. So I was trying to just be as short as possible, um, kind of grind them out. And, uh, you know, I was, you know, trying to put the ball in play, just uh, – he, he was riding that fastball up and fouled some of them back, and then I uh, was able to to fight off those off speed pitches and um, finally got a good swing on one there late. Is that one of those situations where you're kind of where you're looking for a, a, a specific pitch? I know it's it's obviously a really long at bat, but how do how did kind of your mindset go uh, from pitch to pitch? I was just trying to be on the heater, um, you know, and adjust to the off speed. You know, he I, he's got a really good fastball and uh you know so I was like I said I, I didn't want to be in between um you know just trust my eyes there thank you next question is for Mike DiGiovanna go ahead I was just wondering in, in an at-bat like that I assume you can sort of hear the tension building in the stadium is that whole thing like fun for you is it nerve-wracking how would you sort of describe the emotions of uh, it was fun when I hit the double. I, you know, I, I'm uh, during that bat. I was trying to stay within myself and uh, you know, black out so to speak, and just stay focused. And uh, yeah, but I, I I could definitely feel the energy, especially once I came through the hit. Thanks. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Yeah, Chris, how much did you know about uh, Cabrera going into that? Uh, I mean, we have scouting reports on all these guys. So, you know, I've gone over them, but I don't – I can't recall facing him ever. I think that was my first at bat. But, uh, yeah, like I said earlier, I knew he had a good fastball, and he, he liked to mix his off-speed in there as well. But, uh, yeah, I was just trying to uh, keep it um, – keep it short and simple against them, um, you know, sort of single them to death or uh, play pepper, however you want to think about it, and not try to do too much. When a pitcher uh, has a no-hitter going, we ask him how how many innings in it took before he realized it. So we'll ask you, how many pitches into that did you realize how long you'd been up there? Uh, I mean, I knew – I had been up there a while. I didn't. I didn't realize it was 14 pitches. After I knew it was a lot. I didn't. I had lost count though. I wasn't. I wasn't exactly counting how many pitches it was, but I knew it was a lot. That was the longest at bat of your big league career. Do you ever remember having a, a long one like that? In another situation? No, I don't think so. Um, yeah, that that was probably my longest at bat. Thank you. Next question is from Rowan Kavner. Go ahead. Hey, Chris, you've talked about, um, you know, just how you've called to the plate all year. Has this been about as consistent as you felt from, you know, like the start of the season until you know, through a couple months in? Uh, yeah, I felt pretty good. I actually, um, the last couple games was probably, I was grinding a little bit and I was able to get in the cage and um, work on some stuff today. And I, I felt a lot better today coming into the game. Thanks. Last questions from Fabian Ardaya. Go ahead. Hey, Chris. I know you mentioned you sort of wanted to stay within yourself there. I don't think you swung at a single pitch outside of the strike zone over that at bat. I mean, how difficult was that to not sort of extend yourself or expand within that at bat, especially as it goes on? Yeah, I mean, he was throwing a lot of strikes. Uh, you know, early in that bat, he fell behind. And then after that, I think he was – I mean, he threw almost all strikes after that. So, um, yeah, it, it's not like I was laying off tough pitches there 3-2. I was swinging at every pitch. And uh, I was finally able to put one in play there um, on the 14th. Thanks, Chris.